from Joy 94.9. Visit joy.org.au to find out more about our Joycasts. Hey, this is Samantha Jade, and you're listening to Joy 94.9. Joy 94.9, number one for three weeks back in 2012, the winning song from X Factor, What You've Done to Me, by Samantha Jade. <laughs> Leo in the back seat for a bit this afternoon, fresh from performing at the GH and Dancing with the Stars over the weekend. Welcome back to Joy Studios, Miss Samantha Jade. Hello. How are you, gorgeous? I'm good. I'm great. Enjoying the lovely Melbourne weather? Oh, I love it. It's been so <laughs> really cold, but it's not too bad today. It's sunny. It's which sunny. Is good. Yes. The sun's out. Yes. Dancing with the Stars last night. Yes. You opened the show. I did. I wasn't expecting it because I was cooking dinner. Yeah. Put it on. I had to chill out for a bit. And then you're on. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was the very, very beginning of the show. So it was really fun. You had fun? You looked great. Of course. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that costume. I, the good thing with Dancing with the Stars is that you can you can be really costumey and theatrical. Of and I love that. So it was really fun. <laughs> and, of course, the GH oh, part of the yeah. weekend, Saturday night, but early Sunday morning. That's you right. You performed... Yeah. The new single and some old favourites. Yes. First time at the GH. I loved it. I want to come back. As soon as I finished, I was like, I want to do it again. I want to do more. Yeah, I loved it. And I really want to come back and and do do more shows there because I didn't do a few songs. And I got some tweets going, I can't believe you didn't do Sweet Talk. You've got to do Soldier. So, yeah. Where was my Sweet Talk? I know, I know. (laughs) But I'm saving that for when I do. I want to do like a big set there next time. Yeah. When did you first realise you had heaps of gay fans? Was there a certain uh, point that you realised? Um, I think Firestarter, my yeah. second single. Okay. I think that's when it really, um, when I really realised. Yeah, yeah. Because I did, um, I got invited to do Fluffies in Brisbane, oh, which is such a fun club. And then I did Mardi Gras. So, yeah. <laughs> what was Mardi Gras like? Oh, amazing. Uh, so many hot, sweaty men amazing. in one place. Amazing. Yes. Like, seriously. <laughs> and I was on it. Um, it was Tina Arena and I. Yes. And she was on, then I was on. And it was 2 a.m., 3 a.m., something mm. like that. And it was unbelievable. I just was like, the buzz was amazing. Speaking of a buzz, X Factor, of course, you auditioned back in 2012. Yeah. You won the show. Yeah. But not before you were in the bottom three. Uh, <laughs> three b- times? Bottom two twice. Uh, yeah. Three times. Yeah. <laughs> um, your friend Guy was mentor. Yeah. And I guess at the time people were thinking, oh, well, you know, she's going to win. He's, she's friends with Guy. It's yeah. going to happen. But yeah. they worked against you in some way. Oh, so much, yeah. When did the tide turn? Because I thought the tide turned about free fallen. Oh, yeah. Free Fallen was the second week, I think. Yeah. And that's when it started to change. I mm. think when it really changed was um, Scream, yes. when I did Scream. And I think that that's when I kind of got to be the most me as well. You know, and well, not the most me actually then because they were like, you're going to be sexy and you've got to be fierce. And I was like, oh, and I was going through a really insecure and nervous stage because I had been so hurt by music, like in the music industry. Of course. So, um, but that that is the artist I want to be. And I think they really brought that out of me and... The audience saw that. So, yeah, I think that was the turning point. You've been recording in L.A. Yes. So, uh, songwriting and recording. Uh-huh. And um, you had to shake that yeah. down in January. Yes. But you're missing something. Mm-hmm. How did people come on the track? Well, I did it, yeah, in January. And um, we had the song. And it had a, it's got a bridge. And mm. that bridge was open. So it was like nothing on that part. And we were kind of like, oh, what are we you know, put on there, we could write something, we could try something. And I thought, there's nothing I can really add anymore. I think it needs a, a guy. I think it needs like a, a male like answer back. And I think it needs energy. And everyone was kind of throwing around names and Pitbull came up and he has that kind of like energetic, yeah. you know. And it's a bit of a Spanish sounding track, so it just was perfect with him on it. You ever met Pitbull? I haven't but met him. The magic of technology. Oh yeah, he done his vocals of course in in, in Miami. Miami. Yeah. yeah, and I did mine in in uh, LA, and then I filmed the video in Sydney, and he filmed the video in Miami. So that the just... video I saw um, a few days ago, yeah. and oh my, that house is stunning. Oh, tell me about it. And those I lovely know. fox you got to wear. I know it was a really glam video, and I was really excited because they're like, "Look, we're going to do a beauty video," and I was like, mm. oh. Love it. I'm all about hair, makeup and nails and beauty. And I just loved it. But I I had been to that house before. I'd done a shoot for Marie Claire there a few weeks before. And I was like, this house is unbelievable. We have to do something else at this house. And so when it came to video meetings, I was like, that's what we need to do. We need to shoot at that house. And so we did. We went back and we shot there. And it's just unbelievable. Like I was like, 
begging the people to let me move in with them. <laughs> like, I don't want to leave. <laughs> and Grace Yardo was a director, a female director. Yeah, yeah. Is it good working with a female director? It really was for this song. Mm. It's all about female empowerment and is. power and, you know, and for this song it was great. And, and she knew as well, you know, where I would feel comfortable, what would make me look taller, <laughs> what us girls mm-hmm. think about. Oh, exactly. Skinny the waist, angles, longer the legs. Lighting. Yes, exactly. So it was really fun and she's really lovely and so talented. So it was good. My special guest on Monday Drive, back seat with Samantha Jade. Let's play the track. Do you want to introduce it for us? Oh, yes. Hi, this is Samantha Jade, and this is my new song, Shake That. Samantha Jade, talk to him. Point nine. Leo invading the back seat this afternoon with the gorgeous <laughs> Samantha J. We just heard the new track, Shake That, yeah. um, with Pitbull. It's been quite a big year for you because um, you supported One Direction. I did. And I have to say that uh, I think with last year with the um, Arias, yeah. um, someone asked you about the One Direction boys, who would you pass? Oh, that's right. Yes. Was and that you that asked me no, that? No, it wasn't me. It was someone from Sydney Comedy. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did I say? I said. You said Niall that's and right. Harry. And Harry. Or yes. Harry. Or Harry, yes. Now, <laughs> and listen to me. Was there anything, <laughs> anything happening in the, in the, um, on the tour? No, I didn't get to pass either no. of them. <laughs> no, but Niall's a friend of mine. I, I, I wouldn't. I don't. We're friends, so. mm. um, but I've got to say him because he might be angry if I didn't. But um, Harry I, I, is he's my fave. I have to say, Nile is my favourite because is he? the Irish accent just gets me uh, every time. Yeah, the Irish accent, the blonde. And he seems blonde, to be like, yeah. I'm like I don't know the guys obviously, but yeah. he seems to be the most grounded, the most sort of. Friendly. Yeah, he's really nice. He's mm. really. I met him at the Arias. That's mm. how I did meet him, and um, and he was really really nice and. Yeah, no, he's been very supportive of me. Like he even he wrote to me the other day and was like, "Love the video." Like he's very supportive. Oh, wow. of, yeah. Oh, and the song. Yeah. Speaking of men, um, you're still single. I am still single. Me too. It's not right. wrong with us? It's not right. And you know what? I You're hate <laughs> winter time. It's cold and we're single, doll. I know. This is when you need your cuddles. I know. I know. This has been going on. But you know what? What's a deal breaker for you? Well. What don't you like What don't man? I like? Mm. I don't like... I don't like people that that are guys that are always trying to prove themselves. Like, oh, I can get us in that club. Or, oh, I can do that. Or, oh, yeah, I'm, I know right. the person. I can't Big stand ups. that. Yeah. I can't. I just normal, normal guy I like. Kylie, playing Kylie. Yes. And in excess, never tear us apart. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. What a massive <laughs> honour for you, first of all. Oh, yeah. But you were nominated for a Logie. I was. This new talent. I know, and I saw you at the Logies. I know, at the Logies. Yes. And you looked gorgeous in that frock. Oh, thank you. And I have to say, on yeah. behalf of all the other media that yeah. bagged you yeah. in that frock, which was yeah. really, really bad because the fashion place can be quite ruthless. Yeah. And yeah. and a lot of the time it's women criticising other women. I know. Which is really, which really I sucks. don't like. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's not good. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I, I didn't even read anything about mm. that. I, I loved the dress. I felt beautiful in it. It was very old Hollywood glam. I liked my hair like that. I wanted to do something different. Like I usually am a pop star, you know, that kind of look, the the short little outfits and the, you know, I'm always singing. I'm usually, this is, I was going, I was attending as an actress. It was different. So I could do mm. something totally different. Love and I man. wanted to do that and, and I did. And then, yeah, somebody, um, one of my friends or family sent me the Daily Mail Thing, uh, thing they wrote, Horrible. and they wrote something really mean, and I read it, and you know, obviously, it's it. You always get a little bit of that, like, oh, that's mm. upsetting, because not because of the them even saying something about me, it was also saying that, uh, something about that dress because Palace Couture had worked so hard on it, Jules had worked so hard on it, and that's what made me upset too. Is that you know they put so much time and effort into making that dress. It was Couture. It was made for my body, and I felt sad for them too. But mm. at the end of the day, I felt great in it. I loved it, and I don't care what they say. <laughs> How do you cope with the whole social media trolls thing? That it is hard. Try to bring you down a bit. Mm. Oh, you know? it is hard. Look, you you need to stay grounded, and you need to just you know feed yourself with positivity. I, I'm a lot better now than I used to be. I used to read it and really let it get to me and be upset and go and block people and mm. be up, you know, cry. Yeah. And now I'm kind of like, oh yeah, oh well. Where's the nice things? And guy told me a good story once because he actually wrote back to one of the trolls and then all his fans writing nice things were like oh my gosh that girl who's mean got a reply from you and all we want is a reply and we're the nice people 
And he goes, so don't ever like do that because for every mm. one bad comment, there's 10 good ones. Exactly. So-